there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here to the start of a new campaign in LVN, La Vittoria Nostra for Hearts of Iron 4, which gives Italy a unique focus tree. But if you want to read about the hour destined by fate is sounding for us, please go right ahead. I've read it before, La Vittoria Nostra. But we're doing the focus and the dictatorship. Enough! Mussolini's reckless ambition will lead to the ruin of our great nation. The king must act. And the king announces a treaty with Ethiopia, even though we're currently trying to gas him. And a move that sends shock was to the military. The king announced the secession of or of session of hostilities with Ethiopia, formally announcing that a ceasefire had been reached with the Hayo Selassie. Benito Mussolini is said to be outraged and has begun coordinating with members of the military to prepare for a potential coup. As part of the terms of the treaty, Italian troops have begun immediately evacuating all territories in the region, and Ethiopian soldiers have occupied Eritrea and Somalia. Failure in as as Abyssinia once more. My apologies. Apparently, I cannot speak anything. Wow. This sucks. We lost all this stuff. Wow, that sucks. But let's go back home and see what happens, because I do want to go down with this form the National Liberation Committee. Opposition is precarious. Fascist forces still hold significant power in Italy, only by forming a united front among all elements of the anti-fascist parties. Can we effectively root out this evil? Give our political power, stability, clamp down on fascism, and for not bad. Not bad times. But I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't tried this off screen yet. We've underdeveloped industry, Stato Maggiore Generale, and a Victor Emmanuel III, and a guy in a very nice helmet, which I kind of want one myself. That looks really, really cool. But let's see what happens. It seems like there's going to be some sort of civil war here, and we have Matteo here. Matteo! All right, let's see what happens. Now, we could go absolute monarchy, but I'd like to do that one eventually, so. Oh. The king disposes Mussolini. I have taken over command of the armed forces in this solemn hour. King Victor Emmanuel III in his address to the Italian people. With the opposition to Mussolini growing in the country, the King Victor Emmanuel III has deposed the dictator and appointed Marshal of Italy Enrico Caviglia as protector of the kingdom. Marshal Caviglia will soon control the country until the crisis is abated. La Libertà. The king will dispose of Mussolini. A civil war will begin between the, the fascist forces loyal to Mussolini and those loyal to the king. The king will call Marshal of Italy Enrico Caviglia to serve as protector of Italy until the crisis is resolved. Oh! Okay, then. Sweet, we have Rome under us. Oh, hello. So we still have all this stuff here, you know. Aeronautica, uh, Regio Esercito. Uh, so we got rid of the, we basically got rid of the uh, fascist tree here, which is fine. So we could go absolute monarchy, royal coup. I kind of want to go down the form of the National Liberation Front, though. Yeah. Let's go that way. And Army of Co Belligerents. Armistice of Casibile. Rebuild Italy. Not in civil war. It is a civil war. It is in a civil war. Communist influence. It's not too bad. Uh, resistance and resistance target. Recruitable population factor. Less recruitment time. It's not bad. Let's go with uh, Directive de Attacco. A government shall issue attack directives, directives to the following effect. In order to shorten the war and liberate Italy from the fascist elements, we must cooperate with the Brigat Garibaldi. Despite the communist leanings, they are to be immediately begin partisan activities in the enemy territory with full legal protections. This is literally all we have. This is not bueno, my friends. Oh, boy. Um, so we have prepared the military for war, which we're at war now. Uh, recall Giuseppe Garibaldi II. Recall Paolo Town de Revel, naval commander. Um, we can probably close out of this stuff for now. And then probably close out one. Realize Roman ambitions. And the Libya Italia, huh? We can close out of that stuff for now. Uh, I guess we can get him, probably, as a general. We still have, are they? I guess they're loyal under us still. Um... What does your Air Force look like, then? Do we have any planes? Medium bomber transport. Uh, I have no idea. I've not tried this off-screen, like I said earlier, but... I'm willing to learn and see how bad we can do. Plane stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, no. We still have planes over here. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes a little bit more sense, then. Combine them all if you can. Go up to 200. There you go. Uh, 200, because I'm going to cut you down in half. Get up to 100 as well. I have my apologies for taking so long with this. You know, just delete you guys. Tripoli. Goodbye. Goodbye. Cool. Come up to here as well. I'll just do that. There you go. Cool. Well. I guess we'll see what happens. Livorno. Nine and Also, we're on A historical since I figured, you know, communist Italy is pretty... Pretty A historical, I'm not going to lie. So, hopefully we can just go straight on in and do well. Maybe... Maybe not... Uh, if you guys could go in, that'd be great. So far, we're looking pretty darn good, not gonna lie. We're almost out of fuel, so maybe we should buy some fuel. Yeah, we literally have no fuel, that sucks. 
Uh, from anybody here? No. Let's get it from, uh, like, well, I guess America. Is that it? Cool. Oh, two divisions have been encircled. Look at that. Never mind. They died. As they should. Ah, the Germans are here, though. Ooh, that is not good. Ooh, that is very not good. I do want to help support the attack here at least first, and then go over there as well. It would be quite beneficial for us. Uh, I want these guys to finish, and then we'll move up to Venice, maybe? I hope we can. Yeah, it's not looking good too good now, is it? Why don't you guys go up here? I want you to hold. I want everyone to also hold. Hold for now, hold for now. They are delivering quite a few casualties to us. 4,000 versus 20,000 is not bad. They're going to the Rhineland or the Straits, whatever. Um, steal for guns. It's not bad. Military readiness would go up. Um, that would be best just to wait. Bologna. No, 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 no. Not today. How close are they to capitulation? Not that close at all. Oh, that sucks. Get the armor down here. Electrical mechanical engineering, very nice. Research speeds, thank you very much. Uh, don't worry about that one. Don't worry about that top for now. Go in here too. Looks like we need armor here. God dang it. Um, we might need to try a naval invasion, maybe. Uh, I mean, we're getting hopefully a lot of good army XP here, though. I mean, they have those guys, of course. How strong are these guys? Oh, well, he lost his hat. Stockpile, can't really tell. All right, so we'll see what happens. Can't win immediately. That's the, the directive. And a group of voluntari per la libertà. General Rafael Cadorna Jr. is prepared to raise a group of volunteers for freedom and deploy a division of freedom fighters to eliminate the fascists. Yes. And then after that one, let's see. Communism. Directive number 16. Directive number 16. All parts and forces are to launch a general insurrection against occupying fascist forces and assist in the liberation of Italy. Parts and forces, not bad. Or, Bella Ciao. Oh, you can only do... You know what? One morning I awakened. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. One morning I awakened and I found my, the invader. Oh, Parson, carry me away. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Permanently change you to the PCI. The Parsons Italy will rise up and launch a revolution. Change you to PCI. What's PCI? PCI. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Communism. Socialist coalition. That is interesting. Um, socialist party. We can become the Socialist Party, but what if we wanted to become the Communist Party? Now, that would be quite interesting. And now we have it, everyone, which we are inviting the Capitalists right now, because, well, we can't quite do Bella Ciao. I do want to see what this is like, but we have to do this one first. The town has come to welcome foreign investors back into the Kingdom of Italy for now. We have restricted the Capitalists, or resisted the Capitalists, since Mussolini's uh, fascist revolution in the early part of the century, but we must reverse that trend and welcome their investment into our economy. For now. Oh. And I got this one done automatically. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Look at that. The Germans are killing themselves like the Italians are. Nice. Nice, nice. Highways would be very nice. Industrial effort. Oh. Hmm. Now we're going to go down this way. I want to see if there's a focus tree. There might be. There might not be. So if there is no focus tree, then we'll come back and do this directive. But for now. Hmm. I want them civvies. Industrial effort. Focus all our political efforts on building up civilian industry in a great leap forward. Sounds actually per perfect what we need to do. So Germany's in a civil war, Italy's in a civil war, Spain is in a civil war, Europe is just, in, it's just like a battleground right now. Are you Leon Bloom? Is that normal? Uh, you guys are going what? Changing course. Are they doing reinforce the empire? Huh. Alright. So they went to change of course. So they're going to go with either the King's Party, uh, organize the Black Shirts, concessions to the trade unions. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Overall, like, we're still holding here. Can we see the Cal Chiefs? 20,000 versus 162,000. Actually, that's really good for us because now Germany won't have extra divisions to send to here. It's actually very, very nice. So we actually might be able to win the Civil War now, which would be also very, very nice. Ooh, they passed neutrality. Oh boy, oh boy. How many did you guys go here instead? Get these guys in place. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. We're suffering here a little bit, but that's all right. A little bit of suffering can help us out, maybe a little bit. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh yes, yes. Destroy those divisions, please, please, please. Oh, thank God we got there. Oh, 
Oh, eight divisions, eight divisions. Kill them all. They have, they actually have air superiority too, or I guess air support, not air superiority, but air support. Nice. <sighs> Beautiful. All we want is to win. That's all. Uh oh, we have no fuel too, so maybe we should stop doing this. Um, as much as I want the subs to do really flipping well. Oh, we also, we also lost a naval battle too, so that's why we lost a lot of ships. My bad. Mmm. Mmm. There we go. Do a Yui. Nice. Stay there. Horses should be able to kill them off. Um, can you go for Milan? Because if you actually take Milan, that'd be really, really good for victory points and whatnot, too. Hello. It's fine. Head on in if you need to. You're literally only here to help keep these guys in place, so. Venice would be nice. How much more do we need? This is awesome convoys. Makes sense. Uh, Vittorio Ambrosio. There we go. Venice is ours. Yeah, quite... Not that much more, but... Still. Sea monsters off the coast of the Italian Riviera? A Riviera. Local fishermen off the coast of northern Italy reported seeing humanoid-like sea monsters in the waters near a local fishing village in the Italian Riviera. Now, the witnesses are to be believed the monsters can dive out of the water known as steal from the local boats. Nice. We're getting closer for this one. Uh, I like to go to... Oh, wow, that's expensive. Uh, I'm not sure if we choose anyone here that we'd lose anybody. We might. That's pretty good. Film uh, industry... From the National Liberation Committee, old figurehead is currently. Oh, well, that's not bad. But we'll lose him soon anyway, so let's not do that. Anti-fascist agents, Carlos Sforza. I kind of like that because you lose for fascist support, you lose, you get more stability, you get more political power. A prominent anti-fascist, Sforza lived in an exile during much of the period of fascist rule over Italy. So now we get 1.46, which is really nice. Helps lower fascist support. Helps basically slightly increase communist support, which is exactly what we want. So overall, not a bad thing. And now you've been completely cut off from the coast. Yes, they have. So you should not be getting any sort of supplies. And now we've been cut off as well. But you know what we can do? We can recut you off, you piece of garbage. Never mind, you died anyways. Yay! Oh. Grupo Voluntaria para la Libertad has been removed. Oh, wait. So... Hmm. A referendum. I guess we do referendum institucional. At the start of the century, Italy was on a democratic path that was derailed by Mussolini and his fascist thugs. Now the people shall decide, constitutional monarchy or republic. Well, I kind of want to go left wing, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so we've gone back. The Civil War's not over yet. I actually did another focus as well. I did the industrial effort. Uh, well, we did that one as well, but I did Italian highways. We need to expand our infrastructure and ensure easy mobility of troops throughout their empire. With enemies at every corner of the world, this is a crucial part of being able to defend all Italian soil. But, communists uprising in northern Italy. Italian partisans in northern Italy have taken up arms against both the fascists in the Italian Social Republic and the anti-fascists of the Kingdom of Italy. Rallying to the hymn of Bella Ciao, the partisans have declared an independent communist nation and have vowed to liberate all of Italy from the invaders. Bella Ciao. Oh. Oh, whoops. Well then. Uh, I don't want to get copyright strike. I don't want to under retribution because it's cool and all, but like, great patriotic war. That was my bad. Close that one out. Okay, so now we're in phase two. Bella Ciao. Weekly manpower, recruitable population. Division organization. Now these guys are really weak over here. Over here, we made these guys pretty darn strong, which... Okay, there is another focus tree. Cool, that's what I definitely wanted here. Vanguard of Bolshevism. Bearer of the Revolution. Destabilize... Uh, oh my gosh. The chaos... The Chaco struggle. Strike against Moscow. Destabilize Europe. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, so we got rid of all the other ones, which is... I'm glad I did the other focuses, but agricultural communism. Revolutionary zeal. More attack and... Wow. Workers' army. That's not bad. Soviet aid will come in a significant price to be paid after the Civil War is concluded. Uh, Stalinist Italy. Uh, asking more, for more help will come in at a great price. Ooh. NKVD supervision. I don't know. Do I want to be basically a puppet of Stalin? I don't think so. I think I want Italy to be uh, revolutionary. What we lack in resources, we make up for the width of righteous strength derived from the people. So now, phase two of uh this war is going to go on so we're going to save again just because i want to but how good are you guys you're eight god dang combos but you have artillery that's not bad you have two divisions here that are 14 combos which is what i made earlier and you're eight over here so ooh, we have no tanks that is not good walter aldizio huh communist champion it's kind of cool luigi we have a luigi 
Oh, Luigi. Oh, a bit of a My hand is in the air. Habity, 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 habity. Um, cool. So, yeah, I've never tried this off screen. I haven't tried it out yet. Obviously, we're doing it now, but this is kind of cool. One, two, three, four. Get some motorized. Uh, lightning's gonna be nice. Get some fighters. Cast. Uh, naval bombers. Tactical bombers, because why not? Someday we might have a massive industry. Don't leave me yet. And. Oops, we have no naval XP, which is fine, so we'll make a lot of convoys. So if we don't do really well here, I'll just, like, I'll be very gamey and just, like, delete the enemy's army. Just because... Oh, we don't have any Alpini divisions. Oh, I like the... I like these guys, though. Yeah, this is a division we made before we, uh, kind of basically rebelled. I like these divisions quite a bit. I mean, if we can go, that'd be great. How many planes? We have ten. Wow, okay. I should have not made the other group so strong. Okay, so what do we have over here? Oh my gosh. Fine, D, D, there you go. And then D, cool. And do we have an admiral? No, we do not. Bold, uh, if anything, I probably want you to be the bold one here. You have a single capital ship, which is not even good, but whatever. And then you guys are good, and yeah, we'll see what happens. If we can win, that'd be great. The Soviet Union announces a policy of non-interference. And the raging Italian Civil War will be one of non-interference. Oh, who, but who trusts Joseph Stalin? Of course, we trust him. We don't, obviously. Um, if we could go through here, because these guys still have to deal with these guys, which is nice. We didn't kill off all the divisions over there just yet. If we could go here extremely fast. Oh, mm, they caught us. Support weapons one would be nice. It is 37, so let's get some more output as well. Alright, so you guys, let it move. Can you guys go there? Here. We're, we're going to slowly truck our way around. God, I made the other divisions very strong. Um, hopefully we can hold out here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we're just going to have to be in the Civil War for a while. This is going to kind of suck. If these guys come out, that's fine with us. Uh, come back to Genoa. It's fine. Uh, I need you to stay here, because you're looking pretty darn weak. Uh, we'll get more po manpower and stuff like that, so we'll see what happens. Ooh, that's not good. Radio would be nice. Some more output as well. Contact Al Husseini. I mean Al Husseini. That'd be nice, but we can't really afford that right now. Go and hold for now. I don't want to fight in the mountains. Do not fight in the mountains. You guys come down here. You guys come down here. No, no, you ding dongs go this way. Revolutionary zeal. Let's get more. We need that defense on core territory. Hey, Japan. everyone's having a civil war. Everyone. Workers' army. Oh yeah, we can't do that, one, which is nice. Uh, the people of the Italian Revolutionary Committee must take up arms and join the cause, regardless of the military experience. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Come on, you have plus 25% defense on core territory. Bro, I made these guys way too strong. And we can't win, like I said. I'm just going to make sure that we uh, win in the end being a little bit more gamey. Just because... Why would they rise up now? They would have already risen up if there was a civil war already. I'm glad we did not kill these guys off. This is good to have a three-way civil war. Um, our own revolution. Obviously, we can't do this one. But we're going to do our own revolution. We will not go down the path laid out uh, before us by the Stalinists. We will chart our own course for Italy. The People's Republic of Italy. Hero of the Revolution. Oh my goodness, we get weekly stability too. And division defense of core territory. And, but he's infirm. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. We get more stability and more support, which would be very, very beneficial for us. Ship designer, huh? Ship designer, huh? So, Luigi Longo. We currently get how much PP every day? One? Okay, that's pretty generic. Oh, that's fine. Um, Alright, well, if they want to leave, I don't mind coming on in. See what we can do. Anarchists rise up. It seems like there's a coming thread here or something. Oh, hello. Hold, hold, hold. You guys go in too. I just want to take the territory and hold. That's all I want to do. Take territory and hold. You find dirt, you're going to hold on to it. Because we, le we left these guys in way too good of a position. I'm glad they're focusing on the Regia Marina, though. I like that a lot. Well, they're not moving into here. Ooh, that's not good, not good. Um, help the Republicans while we're in a civil war. Agricultural communes then. We're going to get more political power, lose some recruitable population factor, get better consumer goods and stability. An agricultural commune share the lands and tools between its members. Products of labor are distributed per capita. This is the first step towards a more equal world. Yeah. No, sir. We got three divisions here. Actually, for the infantry that's here, leave and come back. 
Oh, uh, we need way more guns. This is not good. I was too successful with these guys over here. Doing that would hurt her. Uh. Oh, crap. No. What? What? Okay, so I'm going to go back in time and just... This is stupid. Like, if we knew that... I don't like how this is set up. Honestly, like... If you have the communists rise up, they should already be risen up and fighting the Civil War. So I'm going to go back and make sure that we do really well here. Well, everybody, right now we've already done develop the communes. The communes is an old concept that medieval Italy used to do. They would be assembled in communes that would act in the benefits of the community. By assembling new communes, we will increase productivity and the sentiment of belonging our citizens. Hmm. The sentiment of belonging of our citizens. Hmm. But we're doing the research council. By establishing a dedicated group of specialized workers to research, they'll produce new and better designs in the multiple fields. The progress will never stop under socialism. Our socialism, it should be stated. And then collectivize industries. Industries need to be controlled by the people. Committees will be supervised the establishment of industrial communes. These industrial communes will turn, in turn be the bulk of production of a great nation. And we'll also go down to probably here because that gives us uh, combat bonuses with encryption and encryption. Double encryption. Cool. By establishing a dedicated group of specialized workers to intelligence, we'll be able to train new spies that will be the eyes of our army. Nothing in Europe will escape the grasp. Now, we are still suffering. Well, not suffering, but we're still struggling, I should say, with fighting uh, the Kingdom of Italy. Um, off screen, I uh, basically just like, eh, I was like, eh. Delete some of their divisions, but they still survived. We cut out the Social Republic up here, which is fine. Got rid of Mussolini. But now we're struggling down here against the actual kingdom. We've taken quite a few losses. We have 11 divisions. They have more. But as you can see... Oh, okay. So the Nationals won here. The British Empire won up here. Oh, Mr. Handsome. And then... But he is a champion of peace. He's an isolationist. And then with the German Empire over here. Um, Japan is still killing itself. With the bald guy and that other guy. China's looking Chinese. India is free. And Canada is free as well. Pretty normal. Cool, so we're trying, we're trying our best down here. And now they're attacking us, as you can see. Now, part of the problem here, as these six divisions, well, they're only eight combo with, and you can't change your template, which sucks. So I've been making some other infantry divisions, which are 14 combo with, as well as some mountaineers, which are 20 combo with. So we're doing the best we can. Um, it's not easy here. So, yeah. I mean, sometimes I try to be gamey, sometimes I don't try to be gamey, but... I don't know, would this be my first campaign in this mod? Well, uh, my, my second campaign in this mod, I should really say. Especially with this communist route. It seems like you really need quite a few buffs to be communist. Also, we do have Giuliano de Pitro from our political power and daily communist support. In which we're also going to get Luigi. Because we love a Luigi. A Luigi. Ha Luigi. He has a little pasta and luigi -ness. Sorry, I just... Whenever you play as Italian, an Italian nation, you just, gotta, you just gotta feel that. Spanish Civil War is over, guys. But I guess not. But I guess much monarchists want to get themselves killed off. But all right, whatever. If we could do that, that would be the lot full. Because even though they look really weak, I mean, I set this group up to do really well. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good template. They got engineers, they have artillery. There are uh, seven infantry battalions in each one of those divisions. So overall, those divisions are doing pretty darn well. But we're quickly coming up on them. So we could be doing a lot, a lot worse. So take out Ancona. Hopefully, we can win here. Have a good time. Come on. And we're there. Don't let them leave. Kill them all off. Have a good time. And embrace socialism. Or at least communism. Nice. There you go. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Touch him in the butt. Ah, little butt touch. Never hurt anybody. Unless you're in prison. But anyways. Um, now we get 2.29 political power every single day, which is very nice. Now we could do a general attack, which would be very costly, so we're not going to. We're just going to be a little more suicidal, that's all. Once these guys leave, we will attack. Thank you. And we will surround Rome and kill them off. Please help with the attack. Collective Industries. Oh, Intelligence Control or Council? Yes. Yes. Very much so. After that, there's nothing else we can do there, so... We don't even have the military tree, which kind of sucks. I don't know what else we can do after that, so... Yeah, that should get down. Yeah, you can get down there, too. Not bad. Uh, since we're here, military theorists would be probably pretty good to do as well. Armando Craxi. I mean, if you really want to leave, I can help you with that. Another division goes by by Italian operative captured. Well, at least to me, they're all Italian, but all right, whatever. Ah, screw let everyone go, anyways. Oh, wait, what? No, what are you doing? What the heck are you doing, son? Well, 
If we could get on there fast enough, that's whatever. We're still going to struggle, but those guys definitely know a lot more than we left last time. And Luigi's still here, too, so. I'm feeling pretty good. As long as we've got Luigi here, we'll do okay. Industry collectivization. Very nice. We have second returns. Oh, they actually don't return this time. Um, wait, it's so bad, we don't even have a focus to do it. Not sure how developed this path is, but at the time of recording, I've been playing quite a few, uh, someone could say right-wing nations, maybe? Maybe? So I figured, you know what, let's try something else different. How many more do we need? Ooh, we killed up a lot of Italians. And Pakistan goes to the war with India. Pretty normal. Uh, let's actually get war bonds, because we'll need that for a while. Yeah, that looks very nice. Oh, five divisions encircled. Yes, please. Oh, six divisions, actually. We literally don't have fuel for the Navy right now. Force, if they want to do force defense, that's fine. With, they're literally to force defense. They, they can do it if they want, but the, just remember, you're going to die. Nice. Do we do it? We literally killed off every single division they had. Nice. It is 1938, of course. Don't want to forget that. Get some better radar from now. It's very, very good. And, help oh, the Republicans is over. So if you don't know about that, please go ahead. There's not much we could really do. So, yeah. Let's go to war economy. There you go. Very nice. Go to Palermo, please. Thank you very much. Well, didn't plan on killing every, literally every single division they have, but... What's done is done. The scene would be nice this time of year. King goes in exile. Oh, Soviet aid's gone. Oh. Yay, we won. Now we can do stuff. Appropriate church property. Not bad. Oh, that's not bad either. Oh, we get weekly stability. It's pretty good. Very nationalist sentiment. Communist civic culture. I like that one. With a good civic culture, our citizens will be more open and connected to the new government. Their involvement in the decision making of the election process and internal affairs will greatly help our nation. We are a nice Swiss color now. So who's it? Oh, oh, the. Oh! Amin al Husseini! Yo, know, I was uh, hoping you have a unique focus here, but I guess not. Who's in what faction doing what, where, when? So we have the French being demo communists? Ooh. I can't tell which way they're going. Um, Wilhelm Wagen, of course, they're doing their stuff. British Empire, Daddy, hello. Um, hmm. Yugoslavia is guaranteed by quite a few people. Why do you take out Austria early? Oh, what is. Slovenia's here. Can we go to war? It's a lot of peepee. -pee. Now they're guaranteed by. So if Germany goes to war with Austria, then they go to war with these guys. All right, rebuild the military is not a bad idea. Very national sentiments. Back Zakaridias. Our help will come at a price. Back Tito. Albanian communist revolution. Ooh, occupation cost goes down. What does that mean? Occupation costs. Required garrisons? Huh. Oh, that's not bad either. Equal distribution. Let's do appropriate church property. Catholic church has long held too much influence in Italy. They preach humility while they hide they hide in golden laden towers. The time has come for this great evil to be removed from our lands. Nice. Computing machines, very, very nice. Yeah, we're starting basically from scratch. It's not real bueno, as you can probably tell. Um, looking okay on stuff here. Let's get deck conversions. Ah. Well, looks like we got a navy. Uh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Not a very good one, but it's 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 something. Roberto, train until you're literally sputtering for fuel. Well, Yugoslavia is killing itself. It's nice. Uh, yeah, appropriate church property. Helps with consumer goods and construction, because we could definitely use that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We still get 2.3 political privacy today. I don't know who Amadeo Bordiga is. He's a revolutionary author, apparently, though. If you want to about him, please go ahead. Founded the Italian Communist Party. Nice.
Former farmer communes, former communes. Shared economy. Each one of our oh faction will do the same. That's kind of cool. British Empire requests alliance. What? British diplomats have contacted us with a sly proposition. They propose an alliance, forming an alliance that may stand against those who seek a European hegemony, and they offer to abandon any diplomatic ties they have with the French in return. Mosley? What are you offering me, son? God save the king. This seems kind of... Mm, India, Pakistan, Burma. Uh, you know the English here. I don't know about that. Um, do we get a form our own factions here too? Shared economy. We join European research councils. It's fully independent. Bordigism. Weekly Manpower, oh, that's so nice. Unification. Bearer of the Revolution. Uh, this goes poorly, let's do this. I, okay, we don't have to worry about them that much then. We got Daddy Allies. The Anglo-Italian Alliance. We true fascists must stand together. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if you can really say that. Damage Garrison's... That's really good. Prince of Terror. Holy crap. This is really good, too. Yeah. Ooh, Ambitious Union Boss. Ooh, Daily Comic Support. But we already have enough Comic Support. And we're going to get an agency eventually, so... Let's wait for that one. Rebuild the military. Army Investments. Organization. Infantry Attack. And more Breakthrough. That's interesting. That's interesting. Lose Political Power. Okay. Interesting. Supremo Comato. Comitato. Oh, wait. You have to go down here? Oh, that sucks. It, well, you can still do this one, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Cool. Uh, buried national sentiment? Nationalism has no place in this new nation. By establishing new connections with foreign communist parties, we'll be able to assure them that our goal is the liberation of the proletariat. Our communism knows no bounds of nationalities. Alright. Um, it's not bad. Don't really have to do that, though. We get more, a lot more weekly stability, but we're at 100%, so... I want to see if we can back Zacharias. 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 Nikos Zacharias is a leader of the Communist Party. The Greece Party has been imprisoned by the fascists in Metaxas. If he wants to get out of prison, we can arrange that and support a coup. Our help will surely change his mind at the common turn. Oh, oh, Bordega brings revolution to Austria. While we uh, have consolidated the Socialist Party in the People's Republic of Italia, many nations still suffer under the despots of old. The workers of Austria have no voice, no means to organize, and any attempts to institute socialism will be crushed savagely by Kurt Schuschnigg's regime. We cannot wait for the gears of the international revolution to turn for the Austrian people. With our revolution, we've proven that we could crush a capitalist oppressors here. And I'll crush the oppressors and lower Austria as well. Amadeo Bordiga has abandoned all attempts at diplomatic rhetoric towards uh, the Vaterlandische Front Control Austria. The quest to eradicate all borders is not strictly focused on eradicating the borders. Austrian workers, your liberation is near. Is that like a generic, like, oh, we're going to come fight you event, or what? I, I can't tell. I said, what piece that sucks? Uh, this is. Yeah. That's not completed. Focus five year plan. Okay. Look at that. We get a free military factory? Huh. But not really. Um, I guess we'll do them first, huh? Albanian communist coup? Ali Kelmendi is the leader of the Communist Committee for Albania. Unfortunately for him, Albania is a place where communism is having difficulty to take hold. If it's secure, a place for an insurrection, Kelmendi might reconsider its allegiance to Moscow. Who determines the borders of a nation, and how are they determined? Whatever may people, whatever way people may have found in the past to justify where People's Republic of Italy ends and Austria begins, we live in a new era. The strategic importance of this border cannot be overstated, and we are well within our rights to shift it to ensure the continued security of our people. Listening to Amadeo Bordiga's recent speeches, an invasion of Austria appears imminent. Imminent. Dissenting voices have objected, but public support for the war is on the rise. All right then. More cities. More naval adoption, please. Oh god, we need more. Oh god. 
It's not bad. Oh, oh, we make them have Civil War. Oh, nice. And after that one, I guess we'll do build new roads. We will create vast networks of roads that will connect the communes together. It will act as a vast, vast supply network and increase productivity. What? Uh. Uh, seems like we're going to just poop out more divisions if possible. Actually, since we still have you, we could probably use you quite well. Nice. Uh, they're not under us? Oh, no. They're... Oh, they're by themselves. Then why do we have this? That's weird. Oh, we just wasted all the army XP then for nothing. Um... We need divisions out as fast as possible, so... Crap, I should not have done this if I knew... Oh, maybe they'll win, maybe? Hold out, baby, hold out! Hold out as much as you possibly can! Uh... Saint Attaché? Might as well, we got plenty of PP anyways. Rebuild the military. After, of course, we gotta build new roads first, but... Still. I won't help them out, but... Uh... Just don't lose. Oh my goodness. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. I don't have to manually invade you. If not, then... Oh my gosh, it sucks. Yeah, I think we did this one too early. I was not ready for something like this. Well, yeah. If that's the case, then we'll rebuild the military. The Civil War has left our armed forces in shambles. If we want to be able to face our enemies, we'll have to under undertake extensive reforms. And we'll build a new road and do Ordin Nuevo. The Ordin Nuevo, the new order, was a socialist newspaper established back in 1919 in Turin. Most of its common supporters left when the PCI was founded by Amadeo Bordiga. If we want a communist revolution to succeed, they will create a council of workers within our industry. And here we are, after everybody, in which, well, we already had the Albanian revolution happen. And they won really, really fast. So, uh, yeah, and we have the, the other one down here, too. So we're actually doing relatively okay. I did spam out like a bunch of horse divisions to make sure we have enough divisions to send out. But we're still doing Ordin Nuovo. I guess up next what we could do is that one? Back Tito? Or, or create our own faction. The Enropen Socialist Federation Initiative. Uh, let's do Land Appropriation Act first. The elites of Italy refuse the new communist order. We'll have no choice but to take their land by force and redistribute it to the people. And as you can see, we're not doing terrible here. We are... Well, we're doing... Oh, that's not good. You want to hold, probably. Because that's not good up here. We got to make sure that we don't lose Eonina. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad if we lost this one. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. This one's not super easy to win. The Greek communists are not easy to help out, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, you must be that. Where are your divisions? I think a lot of them got trapped up here, which is nice and all. Uh, also, we're questioning the motives of Belgium just because I want people to guarantee Belgium so they will die. Which, not really happening yet, but whatever. Um, yeah. This has been kind of a messy first episode, has it not been? It has definitely been a messy first episode. Very, very messy. Should probably make some more millies since it's 1939 already. Yeah. Probably should. Cool. Ah, screw it. Since you're up here already. I think it, where is it? There it is. You're almost done. Yeah, look at their divisions. So many divisions. Holy smokes. Can we send you any more divisions yet? You took more territory, so you, no, you cannot. God dang it, that sucks. We still have mixed air. Bruh. Can you actually try to win, please? I, I wonder where the divisions went, but it looks like they, they did make it back, so. Pass a sonar, 1939. Grab some more extraction, maybe? Uh. Alright, so you did delete those guys, which is pretty nice. So you just gotta hold out and don't die. Uh, we already filled all these guys out, so like Council of Tank Development, M Maki, Machi. Uh, entrenchment speed is not great. 
Um, we don't have a lot here, do we? Air experience gain, H generation chance. Why would we go 5% versus 15? Alright then. Secularize the state. Why do we lose common support for that? Now that we appropriate the church's land, we'll need to convert the mass out of religions. Our future state will be devoid of any religious influence, and the true liberation of the workers shall have been achieved. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Like, there's so many guys here. Like, I want us to do well, but like, bruh. Improve working conditions, but we're okay with that for now. Because like animals. Oh wow, they're rejecting German demands. Rebuild the military. The civil wars left our armed forces in shambles. We want to be able to face our enemies while they're undertaking extensive reforms. This is not good. How are they flooding so hard? Oh, I don't want to do funky stuff to make sure that we don't we, that we get these guys. Uh, can we just? Why is no one guaranteeing these guys? We want to go to war with these guys. Not really, but we just have them do funky stuff. Bro, seriously. Well, yep, looks like we're not going to be able to win here in Greece. Germany war again. That's pretty normal. Secularize the state. Rebuild the military. Uh, back to Tito. Good. Council for International Defense or Internal Defense. With underground groups threatening the well being of our nation, we will dedicate a council to internal stability and the dislodgement of the enemy of the people. Yeah, definitely guard the capital. How do they spawn this many divisions? Holy crap! Yeah, the communists definitely need a little buff here in Greece. They definitely need a buff. That's a bit we better wow, that's a lot of political power we got. Holy smokes. I must do that. Follow it up with what else? Subs? Sure, why not? I mean, don't get me wrong, we're getting some good XP here, but still. A lot of dead here. We're at eight thousand, which is not bad actually. Keep learning, keep learning. Of course, we're led by Luigi. I sent Luigi over here, too, so. And Luigi do be feeling nice. Entrenchment speed? Sure, why not? Because now we get 2.22 political power every single day, which is quite a bit. Which is nice, actually. Uh, I wanted to save Millie's. There we go. Oh, yeah, we lose in Greece, we lose in Greece. Hellenic Republic. Fall of Warsaw. Just in case, maybe? We justify. Okay, so France is guaranteeing them. Okay, that happened eventually. That's nice. Well, we're not losing yet, but these guys are probably going to lose eventually. Oh, more mills. Nice. Way more planes. Thank you very much. Poland's gone. Well, kind of figured that one's going to happen. We'll get some, get some of that too. Yeah, you're probably going to need some help down here. Yeah. After that, army investments? I guess we could. The old Italian army was corrupt and had too many officers, old officers hindering military progress. By encouraging new minds above, we shall build an army that won't know defeat. Well, I guess I have to do this one too. Wait, now we can do this one. Oh, no, we can't. We need... No, we... Oh. Huh. I'm going crazy. Uh, since we're here, 39. Our better artillery, yes, please. Yeah, you lose the capital, we're kind of screwed out of here. We're desperately trying to make sure these guys can at least hold out for now, but. It ain't looking too good for us now, is it? 20? Really, bro? That's why I'm just fine on these guys. Oh! Imperial Civil War in Australia, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. The communists need more strength here. You gotta hold on, man. Oh, actually, we can go to war with the Belgians, too. I don't really want to go to war with these guys, obviously, but, you know. What? The criticism for week four? What? What? You mean criticize for weak foreign policy? Get out of here! You don't even know what foreign policy means. 
And Civil War's over. God dang it. Well, that's why we want to go to war with these guys, too. Oh, look at that. Greek socialism. Are you going to become communist anyways? Red militias. India is killing itself. Wait. Are they going communist? I don't understand anymore. Hey, a circle is too funky for me, man. I think this is a template we wanted, actually. There you go. Yeah, I mean, we're part of the British faction again still, but... We'll see. European group. Right, equal distribution, which wouldn't be too bad, but back Tito. Currently, Tito is the general secretary of the CPW, the Communist Party of Yugoslavia. He started distancing himself from Moscow after the Stalin's purges. We'll have to get him to our side. His links to the commentary could prove useful or helpful in the future. Pretty much, man. We'll do the best we can, but no guarantees. Uh, that's fine. Calvary template, we can get rid of that stuff. Yeah, we don't even have that stuff anymore, so. Colonial, no, 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 no. We'll be fine with this one too. You should be good for military police. Wrong one. Yeah, that was the fifth one. My bad. My bad. Cool. And you guys are, yeah, you guys are 20 pound with us. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, yeah, these guys, these guys are pretty bad. Um, can we naval invade? Back Tito. Oh, nice. Well, let's back Tito first. Ah, yes. What? Can we invite to faction? Please let us invite to faction. European Socialist Republic. I guess each distribution. Oh, we did it. We just said we do army investment. Yeah, the old Italian army was corrupt and had too many old officers hindering military progress. By encouraging new minds of blood, we'll show build an army that won't know defeat. Wait. Oh, oh, we're fighting. Oh, we're fighting them. Oh, holy crap. How do we get over there? Uh, we'll do it like this. There you go. Nice. That's not too bad then. God dang it. Force them through. Ah, uh, okay, we don't need to make this any bigger. I'll uh, get the war bonds actually, that'd be pretty nice. Kill them off, kill them off, yes. Hey, to Hellenic workers, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Yeah. Oh, hello. Well, thanks for finally calling, calling them in. Honestly, if you if you go to war with any sort of puppet leader, and then their leader dies, like, you should just kill, be able to just go to war with them. Okay, no. You are more than strong enough to kill these guys off. I guarantee you, you are more than strong enough. Five divisions, seriously. Of these 20 combo with infantry divisions. Sorry, man, but nah. No cheats here, AI. No cheats here. No cheatsy doodle here. Libyan is ours, which is good. Kill these divisions off if you possibly can. Come on. Army investment. Uh, naval investment. Despite having a good portion of the new Navy joining our side, we'll need to rebuild our Navy. We want to rival anyone in the Mediterranean Sea. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Oh, I guess the British Empire went to war with those people, huh? Oh, we can go to war with the Greeks now. That's good. We'll go to definitely go to war with those guys. Happy 1940, everybody. It's a weird year. It's just a weird time to be alive. Wait, what? 
Mr. Scary Face. Oh boy. Come on. Keep going. You'll be alright. Well, you might not be, but whatever. You can see I'm gonna guess. There you go. Nice. Well, if they didn't want to die, they should have risen up and tried to kill us off. Okay, she has a gun. After this, we'll do European Socialist Republic. If we ever want to liberate all the workers of the world, we'll have to show extraordinary coordination. By slowly incorporating the different parts of our alliance, we'll be able to merge into a new union of European socialists. Cool. Are we fighting Tito? Oh, he died. Okay. Now we're good. Equal distribution? We'll start a welfare program that's accessible to all. We will ensure its fairness and we'll implement more taxes. The wealth will then be redistributed to the people. Nice. I'm not sure how long this campaign is going to be because this is a very weird campaign. Very, very weird. So one way to get Yugoslavia under our belt. Not bad, we're already on extensive conscription, so... I could pop at them, but... Eh. Yeah. We can always release them later, I guess. Yeah, that's not bad. What do you mean we're criticized for a weak foreign policy? Did you just not see what we did? People's Research Council? Bordigism? Um, Amadeo uh, Bordiga is a founder of the Italian Communist Party and is also a leading figure of the left communism in Europe. His influence cannot be understated. His ideas will carry forth and they shall guide us towards a world where the workers will be the owners of the work. That's really good. Weekly manpower? It's not, you know, great, but it's not bad. Actually, oh, oh, we do want to go to war with these guys, though. Oh, no. Eh. Yeah, we still want to go to war with them. Keep Empire declares in course. Uh, actually, let's have you guys do this, maybe. And then we'll have, like, y'all come from here to there. Nice. Extra offense is good. A lot of army XP is nice. Nice, nice. And you guys train. So we had four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure, guys. Yeah, that's fine with us. Air Force investment? Uh, let's do this one. Boarding is in first. That's because that's really strong. Uh, the old era Regia Aeronautica was plagued by incompetence and slow development. Our Air Force shall hit harder, be better, faster, and stronger than ever before. Or at least that's the plan. Oh, we have anti-air, huh? Oh, do you get any better ships yet? It's 1940. Oh yeah, I forgot about the carriers. Whoopsie. Hello, who's talking? Arsenal. Oh, who cares about the arsenal of democracy? There you go. Not bad. Pretty good. All right, so since we have enough naval XP, XP anyways here, we might as well start getting some of this stuff. Uh, there you go. Fine. Stuff costs so much. Well, we can't get everything there just yet, but I'd rather make that. I'd rather make two of these than anything else right now. We need quite a bit more steel, so... Can't go to close economy, god dang it. Bro, that sucks. British Empire, might as well. Thanks for the factories, guys. That's why we keep making civvies. Well, eventually. Keep just fine on them. Bordigism. Well, maybe I should have waited to do that, but whatever. We'll do Air Force investment. I think that would be a good thing to do. Um, support weapons would be nice. Get some more support weapons. Get some planes eventually. Yeah, I didn't mean to take out Yugoslavia like this, but it just kind of happened that way. Yeah, it happens. Unification, huh? European Research Council, shared economy? Okay, I, I can get on board with that. 
If we want to move towards a more equal world, we'll make sure the capitalists and fascists do not have access to resources. By sharing our economy with our partners only, we should be able to make the maximum from our resources. Van Naval Vanguard, Coastal Navy. Ooh, that's not bad. Cruiser sub holes. Or Red Naval Vanguard. Laid on two battleships and one carrier? I think we want to go that way, so let's go Naval Vanguard. By assuming the Naval Burn, our allies will be able to, field to invest in other fields. Uh, five year naval building program. If we want to dominate me on Nostrum, we'll have to lay down ships in bulk and complete them with all available means. I guess what? Arditi del Polpo. Our Arditi were instrumental for the final victory against the monarchists and fascists. By incorporating and professionalizing our storming detachments, we'll have a new aggressive army that'll play an active role in the battlefield. Fascists shall tremble in their boots. But I think I'm going to end today's episode there. It's been a very weird one for us. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll invade the good old Greeks, even though they're becoming communists. And, uh, kind of watch the world go crazy as Germany's already become very quite large. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great, great rest of your day.